So you're on the MRI page. Uh, what is an MRI scan? Uh, MRI stands for Magnetic Resonance Imaging. So in a real nutshell, it's quite complicated science. In fact, the inventors of MRI won a Nobel Prize uh, for medicine for this. So the science is really quite fascinating, but complicated. In a very simple term, you, we apply a big magnet to whichever body area we're looking at. It can be the spine, anywhere in the body. We tend to use MRI imaging for the entire body, right from the brain down to your toes. And what it's fantastic at is the magnet pulls on the water molecule uh, in your tissues. You have water pretty much everywhere. It creates a polarization, so a direction change, and then a force is applied, usually a radio frequency signal, which creates, which pushes that out, out of position, only for a very uh, short time, like a fraction of a second, and then it pulls back, and that releases some energy, and that is different for different tissues, and hence we get a slightly different gradient of imaging on our scan. For instance, different for fat, different for skin, different for bone, uh, because there are different tissues with different quantities of those molecules in there, and that shows there's a really clear difference between all those tissues and that's why it's taken over really as the predominant modality for anything to do with bone degeneration trauma and, and dif differentiating pathology that may be in very different tissue layers in all the soft tissue layers it's fantastic imaging if you've got MRI scans already done please send them across to our admin team we're happy to look at the existing ones if you need updating imaging because your scans from a year to three years ago we can update it for you uh, we've got our own scanning centers and also partnerships with uh, national providers and can get an updated scan just so we can pinpoint a, a treatment plan specific to your problem and having an updated scan can be crucial to that sometimes so that we're not dealing with something or a problem that's evolved now from where it was two years ago so we do need up-to-date imaging uh, where possible we can sometimes deal with scans depending on the pathology that are up to about a year old but anything older than a year isn't really usable and sometimes we need more recent imaging than even that hope that helps